in this video i've got a great little route for you guys out of the gun bunch in the new england patriots playbook this formation is i think grossly underestimated this year i think new england patriots bunch is one of the best bunches of all time and i wanted to do a couple of videos here to, to just teach some of the different principles of this bunch and why i think it can still be very effective in madden 22 and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button it's free it just lets you know when we release new videos every day i post new videos to help uh get better at madden both for you guys and for me this helps me get better and i think it would help you guys as well so if you want to get better at the game hit the subscribe button we're going over a play that used it, it's one of the best plays that nobody calls anymore and that's 518 hook yesterday i broke down corner strike today i wanted to break down 518 hook and just kind of walk you through some of my favorite pieces of this puzzle now 518 hook is a play that can be ran in a variety of different ways um, i really like to run this with my bunch to the wide side of the field and the reason why is because against cover three what you're going to notice here is all we're going to do is we're going to block our tight end we're going to streak chris godwin and then you have kind of a decision to make on this left side i'll talk about that in a little bit and more in just a second but we'll just show you this against cover three you're going to see that this third will get sucked down but notice that this is not as deep of a post as other other post routes that we've used so what i like to do with this concept actually this year is something a little bit different um, and then I'll show you this against cover two real quick as well just to kind of walk you through obviously cover four is kind of a beast this year it's one of the better it's, it's not one of the better coverages necessarily but it's one of the more difficult ones to bomb but you'll see against cover two here um, you see that it, it can't it still kind of struggles okay to kind of get where we want it to on this field so what I like to do with with this play um what i like to do with this play is i love to max protect out a bunch um i just i just think max protecting out a bunch is one of the best ways to do it um you don't have to do that but it is one of the things that i personally like to do and then what we're going to do with this is we're going to run a hitch route to the slot chris godwin and then we're just going to streak mike evans and what you're going to notice here is this s route is really interesting it's very unique and there's a lot that you can do with it so you can motion snap it if you want to you'll see a motion snap here on this little s route and what it does is that it gets under all the zones um, as that streak kind of pulls back all of the zones now i talked about in the intro my zone drop so one of the most popular defenses right now for bunch is basically a double mabel with a deep half and a 30 yard cloud on the side this play is really really good for that situation so what you'll see is natural picks and rubs he comes underneath this guy and then you'll see i can pass lead that up and it'll get over the top of a 30 yard cloud i'm going to show you two different ways i like to run this route in just a second um, or two two kind of variations of this same basic setup but what you'll see here again so you see this is kind of the base coverage that most people will run and as long as i get time in the pocket here um what you'll see is this will get over the top of a 30-yard cloud so just pass laid it straight up it gets over the top of that 30-yard cloud and it gets right into this little interesting kind of pocket on the defense now the next thing that i want to walk you through with this is something uh or, um sorry let me show you cover let me show you cover three real quick just to just to show it to you so you're aware of this and then i'll show you cover four this is just a double mabel out of cover three and again you'll just see it doesn't really matter where the 30 yard cloud is he'll get over the top just pass lead it gosh dang these sheds and practice mode are just insane that's why you get post ups that's why you get secure protector um i have two post ups and i have two secure protectors because i can't stand getting shedded in this game but anyways especially in practice mode but anyways here um you'll see this is a cover three and this is actually whoops i messed up i put the wrong guy on the streak and you see that see why you need the clear out this year it's kind of um it's just kind of a thing that you need to have uh it used to be that you could run the backside drag but with this with the way this year's game plays i just think it's much smarter to use the backside guy as a hitch because you need to have the streak on the side you're running to um if you wanted to you could motion this guy on a drag um, I found just run it like this is probably the best setup because you can playmaker this drag wherever you want it to go 
and then you'll see again here just pass like that straight up and for whatever reason I got jammed and that's why I'm gonna that's gonna automatically bring me to my next point that I wanted to break down with this why I like this play is because it fits with other things that I can do from this formation um, one of the things I think is very underrated about offense is most people don't find plays that fit well together I call them constraint plays plays that look like your number one play but they actually go in a completely different direction so this is a great example so to keep him from getting bumped what I like to do is motion him out just like this, real simple. And what you'll see is this S post will run all, it still runs all the way across the formation, all the way to the sideline, which is very unique. Most routes in bunch don't do this. And if they do, they stop running um, or they don't actually get over the top of 30 yard clouds. So this is one of my favorite things that actually will keep running and will get over the top of a 30 yard cloud. So again, you're gonna motion them out just like you would at a corner strike. If you want to, um, you can do, you know, it, again, I love to streak this guy, but it just doesn't quite fit with the play this year. And the route already gets underneath. So you'll see, I can throw it in the middle of the field right there as well. So let's say they're running, um, you know, let's say they're running, you know, their user is going to sit on the hitch and then he's going to bail to that guy or whatever. I can throw this route a lot. It's what I call multi-window route. I can throw it in multiple different points um, on its cut. So anyways, um, again, just motion this guy out, snap it here. This is cover four. You see, I can throw it underneath the cover four right there, or I could wait till he crosses that quarter and hit him right there. This is one of my favorite routes in the game. It's very, very good against zone. It's very, it's also really good against match coverage. The one coverage that can give this a little bit of trouble um, is man to man, which is obviously the number one coverage in the game right now. But you'll see that this route does something interesting against man. A lot of times he actually will get separation and that's Scotty Miller against Jair Alexander. So this route itself can get pretty good separation against man to man. And I'll just give you a pro tip if you want um, if you're really struggling against man to man, most especially against like a three three five wide where they're dropping they're they're dropping guys into zones. Um, you know, maybe they do something like this, and then they've got their user in the middle of the field, right? Very simple. If you want to beat man to man from something like this, you'll see if I leave him compressed, and let's say I take Godwin um, and just whatever, put him on a zig, it, it, whatever, put him on a flat. Heck, put him on a flat. Watch what happens here. You'll see they kind of give it a natural rub and it gets him off the jam and allows him to be able to beat man to man. So I have found a lot of success with this route in particular um, from a man to man perspective. I've seen that this can be very effective at beating the double purple meta, the shaded underneath meta. Um, you also have your, your backside guy um, that is pretty decent. And then if you really wanted to deal with some man to man, one simple thing you can do Put the running back on an in route or put the put the, you know some you can motion this guy over on a slant like there's a lot you could do if you're really getting a lot of man to man but this has just been my personal finding with this if you want to put a slant there you certainly can you can put a slant and a backside in um, just to kind of help with the man to man hold the user down and look at the separation i'm getting on this route consistently over the top this is one of the best routes in the game that nobody's using if you want to learn more about the new england patriots offense um actually not even just the new england patriots offense if you want to learn more about the bunch offense because i've broken down almost every bunch um only almost every bunch play this year if you want to check out everything that i have on the bunch or all my other stuff as well which i have a ton of make sure that you get into the membership the membership's only ten dollars to sign up it's patreon and uh, literally get you access to everything thank you so much for your support watching the video all the way through and if you want to check out the ebooks those are down in the description one uh, just by purchasing the membership, you get everything. So you don't just have, like, you can't, you don't just have to purchase one ebook at a time. You're able to get all the stuff just by becoming a Patreon member. Um, and I really appreciate that. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description and you can grab that membership.